Hello. So, last time on Eastward, it's time to eat, and Sam's not back yet. Hopefully, she's okay. So, we are going to go to the Coin Palace. <clears throat> She's probably just playing something really fun, you know? And time flies when you're having fun, right? Are you talking about Sam or yourself? Hi, Moe. Good morning. I hope you had good sleep. We're not both, Isabel. Both could have fun. Have you seen if it is in Mon Pote? Johnny D. Looking for Sammy? She's at that age, you know. <laughs> Libre Collaire. <laughs> I apologize to everybody who speaks French again. Gotta be free. The tighter you hold on, the more she's gonna fight back. Okay. If you say so. I just want to make sure. I just want to know if she's safe, you know? Oh, hey look, it's you. The bliss says, don't talk to me. I'm in a terrible mood right now. Oh, sorry. Fine, I'll tell you. I lost all of the money I was going to use to restock my fish stand. What? Last day on the farm, we'll be visiting family send help. Good luck. You're on a farm. Good luck. I hope you pick up many, many potatoes. The market opens tomorrow, what will I do? I'll have to ask Vassal if he'd be willing to split his stock with me. I'm not sure he will, but good luck, dude. Wait, why is there nobody here? Oh, jeez. Move it! Let me see. Did she win again? This kiddo. Don't tell me. She won again! God damn! Another one! She did it! Wow, Sam. That child. 
I could almost swear she's radiating some kind of phosphorescent aura. His face, though. <laughs> could that be the glimmer of money? This little girly one again! She's killing it over here! Wait a minute. Isn't that machine the black hole? The all impregnable wall? Hot oh, damn. If I had skills like that, why? The wife stopped harping on me 24 7. This is incredible! Man, oh man, this place has got talent up the wazoo! She's having so much fun with CDR. This is like the best arcade game. Yeehaw! Let's do it again! Um. What? What's happening? What is this? Oh! Are they all gonna? Oh! <gasps> the last guy learned! Uh oh, I feel like I remember we didn't like these guys. Why are they all hiding? What's up? I won again! John, John, you're here! Look! Look how much I won! Huh? Who are you guys? Boss wants to see you in his office. We're getting the grand prize, right? For breaking the game? Boss's office is at the end of the hall. Isn't? Oh, I guess not. We got salt, though. Boss's office is ahead and to the right. Not this one. Oh, at the very end of the hall, I see. Huh? Oh. It's so smoky. Come in. Hmm. Sit. Yes, sir. I'm a big believer in fate. Fate is, after all, what brought me to this moment. What made me the owner of this fine establishment? <sighs> and what led you here to this office? You must be the Samuel character I've been hearing so much about. That was quite the show you put on downstairs. Hey, my name's Sam. Just Sam. Ah. Uh. <laughs> How interesting. I suppose you can never underestimate the power of youth. Still. You made the wrong choice when you decided to cheat in my casino. Cheat? I didn't cheat. Boss. Come in. Look at her smiling face. We found this coin in the machine. Hey, that's mine! Lucky coin. My friend gave that to me. This brat. Oh, that, uh... Word is... Tikara? Or maybe... Li, depending on what language you look at it. Either way, it means power. Every second in this room is one week of your life. Yeah. With the amount of carbon dioxide in here. That's enough! These are my guests. But... Leave us. 
boss. Coin, coin, coin. To think that a mere coin. What are you talking about? Slow turn. Tell me, have you ever heard of the Wind God's Prophecy? Wind God's Prophecy? Once fate has run its course, the Cavetus Machine will meet its end. That is when good and evil shall descend. Together with the Wind God, the heroes will take up their fight. To save New Dam City from its plight. What's that supposed to mean? Is that something from Earthborn? I've never heard of the Wind God. I have a proposition for you. A proposition? Yes. A little wager. Wager? Wager. Shall we say. <laughs> How do you pronounce English? Care to take me up on it? Sounds like fun! <laughs> the spunk in this one smirks. Aren't you afraid of losing, girl? Can't really know unless I try. <laughs> this pure and adulterated moxie. Excellent, yes. Truly excellent. Right then. Three dishes. I want you to make three dishes. If even one of those dishes elicits my favor, then you win. <laughs> oh, you are going so down. John here is... Your Highness. Let me in. The boss is... Your Highness. Alva. Well, look who it is. Lily, put out that cigar right now. Ooh. Ugh. All right, all right. It's out. Could you let us finish now? Alva. Lee says he wants to try John's cooking. You didn't make another bet again, did you? If I have? But Lily, these are my friends. Friends are friends. But a bet is a bet. People die when they are killed, Alva. True that. I told him we're on. <laughs> I like this girl. Sam, this is a bad man. You wouldn't be incorrect. I am a bad man. However, there is one thing I'd never do, and that is go back on my word. Neither do I. <laughs> Things are finally starting to get interesting. So, how do you know each other? You think they're the heroes from the legend? Maybe, maybe not. But it's well known that the hero was a master chef. John's cooking is pretty good. Well, we'll find out soon enough. What do I do? I look forward to seeing your work. So I need to go cook three things. Somewhere. Princess Alva could scare the hair off a fly. Boss is letting you go just like that, huh? Uh, you. Y you you guys are with the princess then, are you? How can a puny thing like you work for her? Her work is dangerous. Don't judge a book by its cover. The princess is something else. I have now talked to a hundred different NPCs. Oh! Everybody's back now. If only I had that coin! 
If only, if only. Why don't you put your money where your mouth is for once? You two. What do you say you sell me that coin of yours, eh? No. My friend gave this to me. It's very important. Come on, don't be such a cheapskate. Look, I'll even pay ya. How about some nice cool cash for it, eh? No. You guys must be something else to take down this machine. You really could have walked off with everything. I want to go on the DDR machine. Well, Holbein says that wasn't some kind of act earlier, was it? I have to admit, it was pretty exciting to watch. That old Lee probably has his skivvies in a right twist right now. Hehe, <laughs> skivvies. Rabina says, I apologize. I'm afraid I'm only programmed to talk to customers. If you'd like to purchase one of our special services, please go upstairs. Tony says, no, 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 no. You've got it all wrong. I, I just want to know more about the lucky coin. I apologize. This lucky coin doesn't exist. Anything you've heard is nothing but baseless drivel meant to fool those with lesser IQs. Oof, that, that was harsh. What's over here? Oh my goodness, what is this? Is it a theater? Oh. Let's keep talking. Jade says, You two sure know how to make a nuisance of yourselves. I hate it. Scram. Okay. Dr. Chu says, You broke again? Lost every single penny. How's the wife gonna take it? Two words. Horrible. Lend me a bit, would ya? I don't got a penny left myself. Damn. I'm in for a world of hurt. Bucky says, I must admit, even I was impressed by that show you put on. But don't expect sheer luck to take you much further. The boss. <laughs> Let's just say he doesn't lose. Safe. Hmm, how to figure out what the boss likes then. Good day to you, my fine sirs. Hey, it's Lilium and Daniel. Oh, by the way, I was uploading my older Eastward VODs. And the kid who said that his dad went above ground is in fact called Daniel. And his dad is called William. And the kid has purple hair, so I think there is a high probability that this might actually be Daniel's dad. Gotten yourself into a bit of trouble with Lee, I see. Quite the bravura, I must say, betting against him like that. However, if you'd allow me to be frank for a moment, Lee isn't an opponent you want to trifle with. At least some kind of crazy gourmet. Can't say odds are in your favor. Or in ours. Quiet, you fool. We're not gonna lose. John's a super special, amazing cook. Is that so? But not even skill can make up for a lack of quality ingredients. For instance, fruit from the glazy berry tree. Lazy berry tree? What's that? You two don't know? Oh, my. It's a good thing I ran into you. The glazy berry tree is only the most popular tree in New Dam City. The fruit it bears is even sweeter than the sweetest honey. And they say jam made from glazy berries? can turn even the most revolting, stomach-turning, gut-wrenching loaf of bread 
into a heavenly ambrosia fit for the gods. Lazy. There he is. John, that's it! We need to get ourselves some lazy berries! Yes, yes. A good child heeds the advice they're given. Who? What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I wish you two the best of luck. I bid you both adieu. Don't tell me your profiteering protocol is acting up again. I can't believe the nerve of him. Really. The second you mention a bet, he turns into a completely different person. We've just gotta win. Alpha. Alpha, Alpha, we did it. We got the perfect plan. We're gonna get us some glazy berries. Glazy berries? What do you think, huh? I think it's... The best plan I've ever heard. <laughs> Lily is going down. <laughs> All this talk of food is making me hungry. Let's head back and get up some food of our own. Izzy's probably waiting for us. Wow! I have two people following me now. Hello. Huang says, you guys are the real deal, aren't ya? Yeah, you really got the guts going up against Li. Is that so? The princess, is it? Huh. So you guys are working with her. Guess we're gonna be getting quite the show then, aren't we? I wonder if there's more people here now. There are someone singing. I'm not allowed to talk to them while they're singing. Understandable. That. Yep. She's singing. Manager Rito says, Sounding great, honey. Let's do it one more time from the top. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Cheers to the mother load we'll be making tomorrow, eh, Daniel? Ch sure, yeah. Ch cheers. Have I talked to you yet? You look really shady. Oh, it's skinny. Apparently someone hit it big at the coin palace. But that's impossible. The one I sold them was clearly a fake. <laughs> Does that imply that there's a real one? Actually, wait. Have I talked to the trash kid? What well, says- Yikes! Who who's there? Huh? Who's there? You- you damn near gave me a friggin' heart attack! Thought you was one of them bald bozos. Wait, you're not looking for something to eat, are you? This can's mine! Mine, you hear? But seeing as you found me and all. Ah, uh, hell. I'll let you in on a little secret. They say there's an island floating in that lake outside town. And on that island, some kind of crazy treasure. But you'll have to go find it yourself. You find me again? I'll tell you another secret. <laughs> Bye! And off he goes. How is he? There must be a secret tunnel of... Secret? Hmm? Tunnel system under the trash cans. The Traveler says, I'd heard the stories, of course, about the great fan of New Dam City. But never could I have imagined just how monstrous it would be. Perhaps it's ill of me to say this, but... Oh, how I would love to see its great blades turning. How glorious it would be. I guess you could say... I'm a big fan of this fan! Haha. <laughs> get it? Fan? 
guys. I don't remember where the princess's house is. I think it's this way. Should I make? Excuse me, it's dinner time. John sleeping on the bottom bunk. <laughs> of course, Sam called top bunk. Oh, child, so, so precious. Can, check. Lunchbox, check. Sam is ready for battle. John, wake up, wake up, wake up. It's time to go find yourself some glazy berries. <sighs> Great. I'm up. Nope, not here. Sam. Oh, there she is. Top bug pet spum. <laughs> Only if you don't. Only if there's railings. If there aren't any railings, it's actually kind of scary. We're heading out, Alva. Roger that. I'll be awaiting your triumphant return. Do you know where we can find glazy berries? What's that? I thought you guys already knew. There's a little road that branches off on the way to Old Town. Follow it east, and you'll reach Hillman's Ranch. You can find glazy berries there. Roger! That old man's probably gonna be a problem. Come on, John. Let's go! What was that, Alva? Hmm? Oh, nothing. Nothing. Just, uh, you know, stay safe. Constant vigilance and all that. Got it. We'll be back with good news. <laughs> the thrill of falling off. <laughs> if you sleep like a rock, then you're probably fine. But if you move around a lot, it's actually kind of scary. I think, at least. Down. We just keep going down. You're falling asleep one way or another. <laughs> Whether it's unconsciousness by choice or not. Razor says, you stay away, you hear. Don't want to scare this little fellow off. Wow, he's so interesting. I he looks like a robot? Standing on one leg? I want to be like that. Let's see. I have done vegetable and most things now. Fruit, seafood, fruit, meat, dairy, fruit. Fruit. Meat, seafood, and dairy. So what about vegetable, meat, and seafood? Vegetable, meat, seafood. 
I got double tomato. What does that mean? I don't know. Cooking music will always be a bop. Hot pot! Once you start, you just can't stop. Okay, I have cooked many things now. I only have one spot in my backpack. Alright, where are we going? All the way up there. Got it. So, right. Right, I think. Lots of rights. We'll see. Oh, this is where that chicken is. I don't want to be here too long. over here again oh I can do this now chicken oh that's awkward hmm how do I get over there screen where if you stay for too long something comes running out of the forest yay and to find out where this goes hello ammo pack yes thank you yeah, I don't know if I want to be here. I don't know if I want to turn it on. Oh, but there's a heart thing. Okay, well. Here we go. That's not what I'm trying to do. Oh dear. Oh no. <laughs> let's see. Hot pot, let's go. <laughs> found a heart orb just gonna grab three more worth 
Can I just go from here? No? Okay. So, let's go take a look. Ow. Oh my god. It's alive! Oh, I think... This is where... Oh, wait. Chest. Oh. It's a cow! Who's... What? It's shooting cheese at me! Cheese! in the, the middle of the fight. <laughs> wait, please wait. I would like to drink some soup. Ow. It's shooting milk at me. I'm lactose intolerant. I've done that one, so now we're going there. I think it was over here. Stop it! I did do this one. Yeah, we can't come here yet. I kind of wish there were markers that I could use. This arrow thing is up there. Oh, it doesn't look like I can go there right now. Okay. with the bugs! Stop it! Stop hurting child! That's what you get! Damn mosquitoes. Ugh. 
I'm hitting everything right now in the hopes that I'll replenish enough ammo. Because I was I was a little dumb. I didn't realize that the flamethrower uses ammo. Free heals and then cook one more thing. We have dairy, meat, seafood, vegetables, and fruit. Dairy, seafood. So dairy and meat vegetable dairy and meat and I guess I may as well I really don't know what these spices are for. I may as well just max out my backpack so I don't forget the last combination. It was dairy, vegetables, and seafood, I think. Meat zongzi, wow! Sam loves the yolk and meat filled ones. Oh, those are so good. I did vegetables, dairy, and meat. Next one is vegetables, dairy, and seafood. And that should be it, I think. Or vegetable combination combinations. Oh, I forgot. I needed to click things. Seafood ramen! Simple yet rich. A great dish for impressing your friends. Yum. Right, we have no more space. But we do have about of the recipes now. Nice. Learning how to cook the best food. Let's go. We are going up, up. Good day. Welcome to the new damn city subway service. Where would you like to go? Oh, I could have gone to the. I could have used the subway. It's fine, I needed the, I probably need the money anyway. We love our Ascenshi figure. The young uns must be fed. Thankfully John is isn't gonna rattle the fence and go bread, bread, bread. <laughs> Oh, 
Would be pretty funny if you did. This, this looks suspicious. Nice. Poor May meal out of nuts and berries. Isn't it so good? Um. Oh, no. Hit this guy first. Because I was hitting him earlier. Come on, come on, okay. The letter O! The letter O! They stopped earlier. Don't worry about it. Nice. You finally caught up and watched all the episodes? Nice! I think I'm still missing the last episode. Isn't it so good? Gear part! Yay! It's so good. Did you want what language did you watch it in? Oh, those are bomb rats. Or shall we say bomb bombs? Haha. <laughs> Be gone! Bugs! Be gone! Okay. Oh, I don't know where to go to that. Ow! Oh, what's in here? Japanese? Nice. I highly recommend going back and watching it in other languages as well. They're just... all of them are good. The English one is also... Ow! I forgot. I forgot. Ow. Good time to use... <laughs> Food, I guess. Two, three, four, five, six. I have five point five empty hearts. You did for some of the earlier episodes. Nice. I've seen clips of German Marcio, and I really want. To watch it in German at some point but first I need to watch it in English <laughs> because English is also very good um I also watch most of it in Japanese Greg the glazy berry tree John look John the glazy berry tree oh it is not egg. I say, young lass, what do you mean by eyeing a man's fruit tree? Oh, hello. Um, could I ask whether this is the glazy berry tree? That it is. Can I infer that you and this gentleman aim to ensnare its fruit? 
We sure do. We back. Back from whence you came. If you don't, I'm afraid you'll have to see me at my worst. You're like enough friends of those treacherous beguilers. I shan't give them any fruit, and I shan't give any to you either. Wait right there. The Sonic Punk is here. Mr. The Sonic Punk. Well, if it isn't the princess. Still playing with your mechanical doodads, I see. Ha 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 Yes, uh, the princess did indeed send me. It seems I may have been mistaken about you two saplings. <laughs> I say, but Lily, are you referring to old Lee the smokestack? One in the same. <laughs> excellent, just excellent. All right then, young lady, I'll let you partake of my fruit. Really? Now, tell me, tell me. That scoundrel, is he still always going on about how he never loses? I always did have an inauspicious feeling about that boy. Someone needs to take him down a peg. Never did know what your grandfather saw in him. Grandfather? Um, um, yes. Grandpa. Grandpa, old buddy, old pal, you're so right. Now then, where was I? You take this fruit now, you hear? And you mix it right up into a jam as soon as you're able. The taste will be absolutely spoiled otherwise. Fred! Obtain glazy berries. Whoa! John, look! It's as shiny as glass! As it should be! I planted it after all. And to think! It's that cheapskate Lee that's going to be partaking of it. The injustice! John, let's go back, John. Just wait till Lee gets a load of this. Okay, but what does Sonic Punk say? Mission complete, lab assistance him. You're to return to the apartment. Don't keep Alpha waiting. Okay. But I want to go that way. <laughs> Where does that go? That green right arrow. Oh, wait, I think I think I know. That's 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 where I got the other things. Right. Ah! I don't know how I dodged that, but I'm not complaining. What's this way? Darkness. Ow. You. How dare. Oh, what's this? Oh, what's this? It doesn't look like a chest. Oh, I think I'm not supposed to be here right now. Oh, whoa, wait, what? What? Hello? Uh... 
Oh. Hey. Puzzle time. Great. That's a lot of stuff. should work. Nice. Do not touch the child. That is a criminal offense. you for all the groceries I didn't know I needed. What an interesting puzzle mechanic. I'm surprised the game is letting me go this far. Oh, uh, Blue sky. Okay. That. Oh. Actually, touch it. Um, great, you learned energy heal. I what? And we're not, we're not talking about it, okay. Slowly recovers hearts. Interesting. Wait, does that mean that one is also an ability? Um, I think it is down here where the fridge is. I think I remember seeing a raft there that I can push around. The child has ascended, no biggie. <laughs> 
just you know casually become radiance don't worry about it hi Devi how are you Okay, but the most important thing is, can we cook with the glazed berries now? No, not yet. Sad. Over here. There's also these diamonds. Diamond looking things here too. It makes the thing over there really suspicious. Doesn't seem like I can touch these though. I am doing well. We just got an ability for Sam. So now I'm curious if there's another one here. There is! Hello. Okay. Can we cook with the child? That is also very important, actually. It is extremely important to find out if we can cook with a child together. It's can I explode these? I cannot. Can I? Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. Wait. I can change the weapon. But. It does the same thing. I am confused. Hmm. Maybe I'm missing something else over here. Before I can do this one. I know I can get to- no, oh, I guess I can't even get to that one. Oh, I can! Um... Oh, wait, I think I know. I, uh, so close. Ah, I missed. I missed. I don't have enough energy. No. Some from these. That should be enough. Nice. Let's go. Winning. What is that? What? Does it talk? Can I talk to it? No? What are those? Sad. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, so 
do that, and then... Oh, I see. Okay, so we have to go to the right and then up. Get stuck. So that... We can go that way. And then what? Go left. Go up. And then take that away so that we can slowly float our way up here. Ta da! Wait, I don't get to talk to them? I don't get to talk to them. They don't seem to take damage either. I wonder what those are. It's another one. There are many. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I have to do this so fast. First try. Easy. <laughs> Another one. This is Lurian, the Watcher. We get clairvoyance here. Yep. Great, you learned energy shield. I got an achievement. Naturally gifted. A sturdy shield that lasts for a short time. Is this what happens when I burst? No? How do I use this? So. Triangle? Triangle. I hold triangle. Oh, I see. That's the right. The the second bar that I completely forgot existed. Anyway, off we go. Um to I keep backtracking. To down here and then left. Stop spawning little shrooms. Oh, I can't, I can't hit them through the fence. Understandable, how would I stay? Do I have anything else I can cook? I did vegetable with meat, seafood, and dairy, and fruit. I think. Oh, wait. Vegetable with meat, seafood. Dairy. Oh, I haven't done it with fruit yet. Vegetable with... Fruit. I have obtained double fish.
fruit salad. Yay. Nice. Nice. So we cleared out the top two rows now. And now I need to figure out what all of these other combinations are. <laughs> I need to eat more food. Sam, you need to eat more. You're so skinny. If you don't eat anything, you're not going to grow up. This one. Hello, upgrade guy. Let's see. I don't have enough for the little ones. But I do have enough for one upgrade. Let's... Put it on the flamethrower. Woo! Oh, it looks cool. It's now more powerful. Excuse me. Knock, knock. Excuse me. Daniel says, please. Why? It, there it is. It's about dying. What? Dying? You mean William? What happened? Y yes, he's very s sick. The, the doctor said the only thing that could s save him are... Lazy berries. Lazy berries? We've got those right here. Here, you take them. You need them a lot more than us. Oh, please. He only has one night to... To... Wow, really? You'll g give them to me? M maybe I didn't even need the story. John, we should go see William and make sure he's okay. Ah, you, you can't. I, I mean, the, the doctor, yeah, the doctor, he, he said no one should bother him right now. The doctor? We should definitely listen to the doctor then. When John was hurt, the doctor helped him too. He saved John's life. You should hurry back then. The doctor's probably waiting. If you need anything else, just ask, okay? We're staying in this house right here. Yeah, uh, yeah. Anyway, th thanks. You guys are pretty gr great. Hope William feels better soon. Well, just like that. There goes the glazy berries. It's all right. John's a good cook. I have faith. I'm coming in. Did you find the berry? Oh, it's you. Don't look so happy to see me. Well, aren't you even going to serve me some tea? Serve yourself. <sighs> <laughs> you still have all this old junk? Why bother? And no! Smoking! Ugh. This place hasn't changed a bit. Don't you touch anything! <laughs> a roll? If you're going to serve me a roll, surely you must also have Glazy Berry Jam. Am I right or am I right? You just wait. This jam is gonna knock your socks off. We're back. Ah, Lee. You gave it away? Someone was sick? Well, I suppose that does take precedence. 
Is it not ready yet? Shouldn't I be smelling something fruity by now? We're uh, just making it now. It'll be ready in a flash. This is bad. Looks like we've got no choice. We're gonna have to use that. That? Something Alva made? Found it. Ta-da! We'll replace the berry with this. Ghost peppers? <gasps> exactly! Ghost pepper jam. Um... I don't think that's a good idea. But, you know. It'll be fine. Probably. Is this supposed to be jam? Where is the rich aroma? The fruity bouquet. All those cigars probably ruined your sense of smell. And this color. Isn't it a bit too... Vibrant for a jam? You've just never had freshly made jam before. It's always like this. Why do I feel a strange sense of foreboding? <laughs> That's just your growing excitement. Go on now, take a bite. Oh. Hot. Why is it so spicy? What's wrong with spicy, huh? It's the spice of life after all. Don't pay I say you told me I'd be having glazy berry jam. All I got was this spicy mess. More like a spicy masterpiece. And back. No problems out past the border. Oh. Lee's here. Don't tell me. That's all the spicy jam, is it? Izzy, tell him. Tell him how great my spicy jam is. I... Uh... I mean, it's... <laughs> Why don't we just leave it at that then? <coughs> I look forward to your next... Creation. Try not to disappoint me next time. Yeah. He's a spicy hater. Here it is. Look. This is Lee Lee before he turned into a big boob. Wow. Lee was a looker. What's he wearing? He almost looks like a... A... A rocket knight. Oh, he used to be a major Earthborn fanboy. Fanboy? Ah, oh, right. You don't know that word, do you? It just means someone's like an uber fan of something. To the point of being just a little crazy. <laughs> it's one of those words from like ancient times. What about this, huh? Is he a fanboy of this too? Let me see, let me see. Oh, gosh. Right. I completely forgot about this. What is it? What is it? The big damn crab pot. Lily used to go wild for this. John! That's it! Big damn crab pot! We need to find a big damn crab and make the biggest damn crab pot Lee's ever seen. Sam, please. Stop saying that word. Why not? It's, it's not nice. <laughs> You should be able to buy king crabs at the king crab. Never underestimate the crab. Left to themselves, they can grow as big as a... A... A rocket. We've seen a crab like that. Really? Yeah. John had to fight it. It is? Oh, the hermit crab. Right. Yes. Hello. Afraid today's stock's already been bought up by a greedy land lover. But I've heard tell the dragon market's in its final stages of prep. Perhaps you'll find a bit of luck there. 
dragon mark. Where is that? Oh, is he? The one place I haven't been able to go to yet. That's all it says. The dragon market officially opens tomorrow. Just where has that idiot of Blizz run up to? Everything's just about ready. You guys are too early. Come back tomorrow for the freshest fruit you ever set your eyes on. Ali. Nagama said, Wish I could open up my spice stand here. Fang says, So late and he still ain't come back yet. I really knows how to make a person worry. What's over here? Low town. There's uptown, downtown, and low town. And this guy has some crazy chin action going on. Big Jaw says, y You didn't hear this from me, man. But I've heard tell there's something unbelievable hidden deep in the dam. If you say so. Lulu says, I don't care if you've got a young girly with you. A big man like you shouldn't be barging into a lady's home. Oh, sorry. Flash says, isn't it a bit late to be barging into people's home? I'm sorry. I don't know where I'm going. I guess this is everybody's houses. Ken says, outside do the ne'er-do-wells caterwaul. I know not what course tricks they conspire. There's a fridge here. That's a little concerning. Oh, I found another one. Hello, Mimi. So, we meet again. The heavy curtain of steam. The odious smell of sludge. This foul waterway hasn't changed a bit. To this day, it remains New Dam City's most desolate, most dangerous haunt. And yet, it was once the playground of a small child. You see, this child loved studying creepy crawlies. This peculiar hobby of his earned him a reputation as a bit of an oddball. Names, disparaging looks, the occasional hand to the nose. He'd gotten it all. But down here, the darkness welcomed him. And the spiders accepted him as their friend. He decided he would live here. Emerging less and less often out into the world above. The people began to forget him. What happened to him? Well, they say he himself turned into a spider. But I can't be sure myself. After all, I don't speak spider. Creepy. There's a treasure chest somewhere near here. I think it might be down there, but I don't know how to get there yet. The people around here are quite poor. So poor, in fact, that they don't even have anything for me to keep. So you don't have to worry about your memories being mixed up with anything weird. Thank you. Oh, maybe this... I guess if you, you'll eventually just keep getting going lower and lower until it's like low town, lower town, lowest town, low, low town. Chevy says, you're sure you two buffoons in Covid Hong can handle it? You can stake your whole life on us, my man. We're only the strongest, smartest, 
studliest gents this side of the dam. Mr. Chavis, sir. Well, uh, have all them king crabs to you tomorrow first thing. Scout's honor. Not sure what kind of scout you are or how this helps any, but you know, why not? Pourquoi pas? Am I right? I'll hire you for the job. I have no idea how to speak French. I am so sorry. Score, man! Come on, bro! Let's go celebrate! Was thinking the same thing, bro. And I got the perfect idea, too. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, oh. ho Are you thinking what I'm thinking? But I want a king crab. If it's crab you folks are after, you've come to La Bonne Personne. Stop by the king crab tomorrow, and you'll be able to partake in New Dam City's most exciting crab experience. John, did you hear that? Let's go tell Alba. We're gonna win for sure tomorrow. I can't wait to go to the market tomorrow and buy all the things, all the ingredients. Oh hey look, it's Solomon. Why is this thing on? And why is it blinking at me? Hmm. What on earth? What on earth indeed? You! How could- What if- a bit slow on the uptake, are we? Isn't there something you want to say to me? <laughs> I love dinky little fairly seaworthy boats. They're so nice. For instance, what is going on here? Clearly, you really are nothing more than a child. That's not true! I am the harvester, the reaper of humanity. Is that so? And yet, you couldn't even figure out how to turn this on. That's... well... No matter. I'll give you a new toy to play with. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You don't mean... Oh, he's a bad guy. Let's go, Jean. We need to get King Crabs for the crab pot and take Lee down. Check if I think, yeah, I filled my backpack. Let's see. Out we go. King crab, king crab, king crab, king crab. King crab. King crab. Oh, jeez. What what happened, sir? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, hello? We're here to buy some. I know what you'll be looking for, you scurvy dogs. It's what everyone's waiting for. A taste of the king. Let me first meet Chavis. He left for the port and there's been nary a sign of him since. John, let's go to the dragon market and take a look. Maybe something happened to him. That's not good. I hope he's okay. Actually, I've been meaning to check out. The subway supposedly also goes to the hot spring. Oh, so it's just you. The treasure? You find it? Right then. Another secret? Can't get enough, huh? My nose knows. So listen up. I smell all. I tell all. And right now, my nose is touching something awful. That sealed off cliff on the way to Quake Valley? It may not look it, but it's hiding a fantastic secret. 
go check it out. Quake Valley. Quake Valley. Where is Quake Valley? I legitimately do not know where this is. Oh. No, I don't want to talk to you. Do I not get to... Oh. Oh. I guess I don't get to... Or maybe I can go from here? It's hot springs. I wanted to go to the hot springs. Using the up staircase to go down. Nobody else is here. It's fine. The hot springs. Whoa, where is this? Whoa, hello. Hello? Oh, I found another one. I think she said there were four. Hi, Mimi. So, we meet again. <clears throat> A big family used to live here, you know. And in that family, a young girl. One day, her family suddenly disappeared. Mommy! Mommy! She cried, running from room to room. But there was no one left. No one except a black cat, yawning silently in the middle of the hall. She wanted to leave and go to the city. But the words of her father held her back. No matter what happens, you mustn't leave. You must stay and protect the cellar, for there's something very important inside. And so she waited, and she waited, and she waited. Until when someone finally did arrive, all they found was a young girl lying in front of the cellar, her body as cold as ice, and a black cat yawning silently in the middle of the hall. You want to know what was in the cellar? Why, her family, of course. <laughs> That's creepy. Hello. Yunosuke. Glass of milk for you, sonny. Two glasses for ten. Sure. I don't know where it goes, though. Oh. Drink milk. Yes. Yum. I don't know what that did, but... It was good. We came here just for the milk. And the tomatoes, maybe? Do I get the... Nope. Nope. I don't get to pick the tomatoes because we're good people and we don't grab everything in sight. Let's go to the dragon market then. The train will be arriving shortly. Please stand behind the yellow line. I, it's not my fault, honestly. <laughs> my country dictates right side, not left side. <laughs> oh, I never figured out what that shrine over there does, huh? Hello? Jackie says, Ow! The dragon market's open! Drunken Master says, Are you dumb or what? What the hell does that have to do with us? We don't got any money. Jackie says, More people means more trash! Them trash bins are gonna pile up to the moon! Drunken Master says, 
<laughs> well, I'll be. You're smarter than you look. Okay. Such characters. Earthworm mouse and toad of light. Cloth, ladle, and hair of white. Drop them all in a great big pot. Ne'er to go home without three draughts. Hello, bud. Haha, <laughs> you found me again. Seems your nose is as good as mine. You must be quite the adventurers. I love the sprout on your head, by the way. Here, take this. Hope you get... Hi, orb! Nice, thanks, dude. Let this be a token of our friendship. Whenever you find something, you tell old mud. Secrets are only secrets when people know them. Yes, sir. Hey, watch your step. These spices ain't cheap. Then again, it is the grand reopening of the market. Care for a free sample? <gasps> Fireman! Ooh, thanks, dude. Can I have more? I want more of that. Nice, thanks. Oh! Thanks for dropping by, boy. Have a good one. Good luck with your family. Welcome, welcome, my friends. And feast your eyes upon New Dam City's finest fish and tails. It's just one fish. He found one fish, somehow. Good on you for at least getting one fish. Come on, come all, and feast your eyes upon New Dam City's finest fish heads. He also only has one fish. That's hilarious. They split their stock, and I guess since Masao also gambled his stuff away, they only have one fish between the two of them. Looking at the dragon market all hustling and bustling, I feel kind of proud, you know? Like, I was part of this. I made it happen. Hey, go toot your own horn somewhere else. We're blocking my customers. Fresh fruit. We pick them, you buy them. Here you go. A free sample to celebrate the reopening of the market. <gasps> Pineapple! <gasps> Yum. Thank you for the fruit. I would love more. Tater says, uh, rare respite from work. The newly reopened dragon market. Truly a recipe for self-indulgence. Cletus says, you know, I'm curious sometimes. Whatever about Cletus? About you robots. Do you ever get tired? <laughs> this I want to know too. No matter how hard you guys don't work, you never even break a sweat. I have to say, you two might be the most uneducated men I know. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No need to get, like, all testy. Yes, it was, it was merely a question. You hear it all the time, you know? From workers. I ain't a goddamn robot. Of course I get tired. Let's not stereotype people or anything. Then, then you do get tired. Look at me. <laughs> Look into my eyes. <laughs> you think I get tired? <laughs> but then, what about the boss? He runs around so much, you'd think someone stuck dynamite up his minuscule behind. Nah, he just puts up a good front. But I'll have you know that he's been- He's actually been complaining of hip pain lately, the poor old dog. Oh. Wait. Robots have hips? Since when would we not have hips? <sighs> he has a point, you know. Sawcopters is snack, snacks, packs of snack. Get yourself a snack pack today! Ooh, none. Chinese burger! And pho! Yum! 
I wish I had more backpack space. I found another one! Hello, Mimi. So, we meet again. See that dragon gate over there? I've got a story about it. You see, there was once a story going round among the kids of the city. The gate was made from the jaws of a river dragon, they said. And if you pass through the gate on the night of a full moon, you'd be whisked away to the mighty dragon palace. One especially brave boy decided he was going to try it. Only, no one ever saw him again. That ear saw the most rain the city had seen in a long time, and the wheat harvest was particularly bountiful. Since then, whenever a bad season rolls around, people joke that they should send another child to the dragon palace. I gotta say, I never thought anyone would stick around for my stories. You're a pretty okay guy. If you've got time, pop by the cemetery downtown. Will do. What ho, could I be seeing things? The dragon market is actually opening again. Yes, it is. And you better believe it. What am I going to do? What am I gonna do? Oh, Pavro de moi. Chavini. The captain's looking for you. Little Sammy, you great, beautiful Barba Papa. You gotta hear me out. The captain sent me to pick up the shipment of crab. And I came straight here like a right old livet hole, I did. Only what do you know? The damn ship was locked up tight as a port the derriere. And the marine stupidez flown the coop. The damn fools left me looking like a fool. Ma... Marine... Stupid eh? What's a... a... Marine's... Stupidest? I'll tell you what they are and I'll tell you to... It, I'll tell it to you good. They're those damn fairs is what they are. From Brotherhood Construction. They told me they'd help me nab the best crabs. La creme de la creme. But now what? If Chevy doesn't bring home the bacon, the bacon's gonna bring home Chevy! Je serai viré! That's not good. Margalari Pittori says, Hello again, my friends. You've come at just the right time. Come, come. Take a look at what I've found. This here is a very rare and ancient totem. I would hazard a guess that only those from my village would recognize this for what it truly is. Are you gonna... <laughs> Sorry. Nope. He's not gonna tell us what it is. Wait, so... What... What do you want us to do? Oh. You seek to find the dam for a race? That would be the idiot, Brethren, Silva, and Armstrong. At Lightning Max, no doubt. A bar in the uptown. Drinking away their troubles, as always. Oh, they totally forgot. They totally drank too much and forgot. All right, but first, I think there was supposed to be a cemetery here. There, though. Not here. I remember seeing a cemetery, so. I'll have to go find it. Hello. Who are you? Huh? 
it printed something out. What's this? The dragon market is open. Stop by for your pick of the freshest food stuffs new damn city has to offer. John, the dragon market. Let's go check out the dragon market. We we already did, child. We were we were literally just there. I just realized I haven't been over there yet. Hello? Central Park. The way I heard it, someone's trying to kick us out. Of what? After losing money, I like coming here to the circus. Quietest place here in New Damn City. Can you imagine? Because it's run down. Tokens! Yay! Oh, that is creepy. Paige says, Our audience is growing smaller by the day. I don't know what the others are thinking, but... Unless someone comes up with a real stellar idea, we may just be done for. Davidson says, I ever tell you, man? I'm actually the driver here. But lately, it seems more and more like we're gonna get forced out. I'd miss the sweet lightning at Lightning Max the most. But hey, man, I guess I'd actually have something to do then. Dang. I wonder why people don't go to the, the circus anymore. Oh look, it's a shrine. Oh wait, it's the cemetery. It's Mimi's place. Or is it? It is Mimi's place. There was once a girl that loved to tell tall tales. Dirt poor and an unsightly thing. She lived down in Lowtown. No one liked her. But she could tell some of the best stories. The kind that could really scare the socks off ya. When other kids came to listen, they'd ask, voices quivering. How the stories ended, which was always her favorite part. But then, people began to attack her stories. Like that could really happen. You're just making things up again. And fewer and fewer kids came to listen to her. Even the friends it had taken her so long to make began coming up with excuses so they wouldn't have to visit her. So, she decided to come up with a real list banger. She stayed up all night, weaving the scariest, most horrible, most terrifying stories she could possibly think of. They'll never be able to sleep again, she thought to herself. Barely able to contain her excitement, she ran to the thicket first thing in the morning. And there she waited. And waited. And waited. She waited until the sun set behind the mountain, but still no one came. Heartbroken, she began telling her story to the thicket. Everything grew silent around her. Birds perched on the nearby branches. Cats knelt by her feet. Everyone and everything listening to her story. She was so happy. Happier than she'd ever been in her whole life. And then the mist came. It filled up the thicket. The animals disappearing and the leaves shriveling. It was the miasma. And it consumed all. Well, that was my final story. Thanks for listening. I guess that's it then, huh? We probably won't see each other again. But take this, yeah? Thank you for the heart orb. And thank you for the stories. Farewell, my friends.
Goodbye. Oh, they're all hanging out over here now. Yay. I think I have 10 now. Yeah, I have 10 hearts now. Nice. Lightning Mac. Is this what Lin Lin says? That man over there is quite, shall we say, passionate. Came over here professing his love for me. Out of the blue. But I much prefer my men with a bit of muscle. Like, hmm. You've got some finely sculpted meat on you. But I'm afraid I'm not interested in men with children. I do apologize. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We're close today, bud. And don't ask me why. If you have to ask anyone, ask those two bozos over there. They've been moaning about some jackpot nonsense, and have been drinking themselves senseless since last night. Now, they're passed out on my floor like a couple of dead oxes. But uh. uh. so? So they're those two, are they? Guess I'll take over for Mung today and zap those two chumps into shape. Ouch! Owie! Why'd you hit me, bro? Hello, Timpani. How are you? I hope you've been having a good day. It wasn't me, it was Mac! Oh, why'd you zap us, mister? You two forgot something important, did ya? Uh, money! We paid you the monies for the drinks, didn't we? We did. We didn't, we bro? The king crabs! We forgot about the king crabs! We're done for! Come on, bro! We've got to motor ourselves to the dragon market! I am doing well. This, this, <laughs> these two hours have been pretty funny. So, did you recognize those twos back there, bro? Anyone who'd be drinking in broad daylight isn't anyone we'd associate with. Those two can't do anything right. Anyway, you guys better hurry to the dragon market yourselves. Demand for those king crabs is about to go through the roof. If they were drinking the entire time... How would they even get grabs? We're so sh sorry! Chibi, oh, pal. So sorry. I am Ping. You damn fools nearly lost Chavis's job. We're so sorry. Super sorry. I don't want your sorries. I want your asses hauling that crab up to the shop. Allez! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sam, the man. I knew I could count on you, too. The utmost of merci beaucoup to you, mes amis. I'm heading back to the king crab to make sure these imbeciles don't try anything else. You got time, you stop by yourself, you hear? I've got a recompense in Koyable. In Koyable? With your name on it. Aplu! I. Once again, for the third time, apologize to anybody who speaks French. I don't know what he's saying. Hello! We're here! Little Sammy, voila! I have that reward I promised. Inside, inside! That! 
the Capitan wants to give you a whole bushel of king crabs. A whole basket? Just for us? I knew you'd be back in a jiffy. Let's say, here to tantalize your tongues with the flesh of the king. I've got a whole bushel full for you right here. You'll really give us all these crabs? Without your help, these king crabs would have been meeting with Davy Jones. Suffocated to death they would have been. Should be me what's thanking you. Take him. Take him all! Crab! We got king crab! It looks kind of funny. I'm a little concerned. John! We've got the king crabs now. Let's hurry back to the rocket mansion. But do I have them as ingredients? That is the most important part. I do not. Sad. It's okay. This time we will blow these socks off. It'll be worth it. John, hurry! Lee's gonna be here any minute. Can't talk. Busy took cook cooking. John, the dough, big or small? Oh no, we don't have enough ginger. Oh no! I'll buy my pudding. Crap! 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 The crabs! The crabs are getting away, John! Uh... Leave it to me! I need... One more crab. Where is he? Where is the crab? I need to catch those crabs! Where's the last one? Still three left. What? There were six crabs? Since when? I should ask Elva sometime. Oh, sorry. Crab? Get over here. Shouldn't they be tied up? That's all of them. Time to take the crabs back to John. I feel like they should be tied up. I'm pretty sure when you buy a crab from the fish market, they're tied up. One, two, three, four, five, six! John, I caught all the crabs! Good job, Sam. Something smells good in here. Have you guys already started cooking? Lily is totally going down this time. John! Sam! The troop! The troop is done for! You must help us! If tonight's show isn't a rousing success, we'll... we'll... be forced to leave New Damn City! Don't sweat it. The Rocket Knight Legion is on the job. Rocket Knight Legion? Sweet! Sounds just like Earthborn. I just thought it up while walking through the door. Pretty good, don't you think? Don't worry, Jasper. The Rocket Knight Legion is gonna make everything right again. What, what about my crab? But... My crab. Please tell me we're turned the Oh no. We can't turn the stove off. Well, I'm sure it'll be fine. John knows what he's doing, right? It's just a low, low, low simmer. You can barely see the fire. It's totally fine. It'll be fine. But that will be it for today. Why am I so tiny? <laughs> Thank you again for coming to stream. I hope y'all enjoyed Eastward. I had a lot of fun. 
next week on Eastward. We are helping the circus? The troop get back on its feet and hopefully not burn crab. So for today, we're just gonna head over to Otters and wind down. Thanks for coming and dropping by. Uh, stretch. Next time I will be drawing on Friday. And then it will be a week of no stream again. But hopefully I'll have something on YouTube ready. So that even though I'm not streaming, you'll still have something to watch. But until Friday, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay safe. Bye bye!